GH1 TV. This is an extension of Expressive Show on GH1 TV, and we have a celebrated actor with us. She just landed in Ghana minutes ago, and of course, we have the exclusive right here for you. You know how we do it. The air, the arrival was actually grand. A lot of you don't really know her middle name, so her middle name is Charity. It actually resonates with her. That is what she does. She registered her foundation in 2000. That means her foundation is 21 years old. Of course, older than a lot of you and so you understand when she says she is charity i'm excited to have her because she's an actor she is a singer she's a songwriter most importantly she is a philanthropist well you might call her poco king tonto mama king well i have tonto dk charity king tonto dk charity here with us welcome to the show it's good to have you in ghana. thank you very much thank you Free. welcome to ghana thank you <laughs> you love your welcome how are you love oh, it already yeah. it was grand and it was beautiful it was everything i am royal <laughs> i love that royalty well tell us why you're in ghana i mean why is tonto in ghana well first of all i love ghana that's why i'm in ghana and uh, second of all i'm here for the susan chanel end of the year and end of the year slash anniversary promo sales yeah it starts to, it's, it's actually tomorrow which is a saturday so i had to come in today so i could eat your light soup i could, I could eat your wache i could eat the uh, kinky and the uh, banku Banku. I like that. I was just going to ask, what are some of the things you've heard about Ghana that you can't wait to try? So you've mentioned the food, but Actually, what are that things? It's not the first time I'm in Ghana. No, it's not. I, I've, I've been to Ghana a lot of times, but it's just been a while I've mm. been here. Mm. Have you done any collaborations in Ghana in terms of acting? Are you still in active acting? No, I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> Is there a reason? Um, I'm actually a politician now, and uh, I'm a farmer, and most especially I'm a mom. That job is so ex exhausting. I can't even combine the life I used to have before, which is entertainment and family. It's it's not it's a no for me. Wow. Let's talk a bit about farming before we talk about you know Susan Chanel. You said you are in farming. How's that going? Last week we celebrated Farmers Day in Ghana, so you know some of them shared their struggles and everything with them. But how is it going for you? It's been amazing. It's because. And it's been very amazing, very lucrative, very stress-free, and that's because I'm family smart. Mm. Okay, I'm not doing it the way our parents did it. I'm not doing it the way everybody did. Go and suffer and kill yourself. <laughs> I'm family smart. Smart farming. Explain to us just a bit. Okay. okay. Smart farming. There's something called agri-chain. Agri-chain is an opportunity for you to actually farm smart and actually be able to sell in court stress-free and where there is uh, liquidity of cash available, uh, uh, farm, um, agriculture mining and all of those things. I don't want to go into all that because I'm advertising for that. Yeah. But um, aside that, I'm, I'm a farmer who who farms, who is a farmer's farmer. What I mean is I produce everything within my farm. I don't need exterior materials outside my farm. So I don't spend too much making so much. Rather, I make, I spend a little and I make more because I'm like a consumer's consum consumer. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So she's not a farmer. She mentioned that she's getting into politics. So are we expecting Senator Tonto anytime soon? Oh, I've always said that. I'm going to be a senator someday. Yeah, married to a president. Wow, I like that. Why not be the president yourself? No, I've always said that. Too much, too much work. I like the baby girl lifestyle. <laughs> I like it. Trust me. <laughs> Before the country cost, cost me out. <laughs> Wow, so politician, farmer, and of course, like I was saying, philanthropist, that's the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Do you intend doing anything in Ghana in that part, giving back? I have always done that. My foundation actually has a branch in Ghana, which we do everything that we do that, uh, in Nigeria. During the COVID-19 time, my sister, uh, if yeah, really did, um, yeah, really was a big help for us in Ghana here because we, didn't, we couldn't come in. I'm, we are everywhere. We're not a Nigerian-owned uh, no, we are Nigerian based, but we're not Nigerian owned. It's not for Nigerians alone. Actually, we think that we help more foreigners than we help Nigerians because there's a lot of NGOs in Nigeria and there are lots of people who are covering Nigeria. So we started to do Africa as a, as, as a whole. Still on charity, um, just last week news broke about Sylvester and you were one of, the, I think, the first celebrity that actually dropped a parcel for Sly. Tell us the motive behind that. I mean, on his birthday. Um, well, I'm a mom, and um, if being a mom, I'm not just a mom, I'm a mom who is passionately and dangerously in love with my child. I mean, it shows in everything I do for him and how I train him and how I, I love him, how I even look at him. You know, I'm just lost, lost about this boy. You know, come to think about the fact that this could actually be my son. 
this could actually be my cousin, this could actually be my friend's child, this could actually be anybody, you know. And um, I, I don't pray to lose a child at when in my life. It's, it's a struggle for what they're going through. So it's, it's just something for us to, you know, support the family and say we're there with you. We cannot, we cannot undo what has been done, but we can right the wrong that was done. And that's what we're all looking for. Nobody, I, I don't believe in closure mm. because it's nothing like closure, mm. but there is something like liberation from the hurt that you feel, knowing that this thing was done right. I was hurt, but it was corrected, whether the perpetrators were caught or whether, whether um, whatever, whatever circumstances, you know. Just for me, closure just means that end result being good. Yeah, and that's what I was trying to give to Silver and that's what I'm trying to give to Silver parents. Not just him, I'm, I'm a, my, like you said, I have a foundation and what we do is advocate for women, women's rights and children's rights. That's what we're called, uh, bent on. So it's, um, it's, it's, it's my rights. It was just a right. It was nothing, nobody had to tell me to do it. It was my right as a mother, as a philanthropist and as an advocate. It was my right. Does this whole event that happened, does it put a bit of fear in you? The fact that you have a child as well. Does it, I mean, okay, so my baby will go out one day and something bad will happen to me. You see, um, I'm a very paranoid woman, and that's because I've run the foundation for over 20 years. And things you don't know, I know. Situations that you've never heard about, I know. Sylvester's situation is more or less an everyday situation that you know. The ones that are more gruesome that you don't understand, I've heard it all. So I'm scared every day of my life. I'm scared every day of my life. But um, I, I believe in my heart that I'm doing such a fantastic job as a mother. That's one part of my life I have dedicated myself to and say you can never fail in that part of your life and that's why I'm succeeding so much in that part of my life and um, I think I'm doing such a good job raising a king, raising a leader. So I'm teaching my son to have compassion for other people. I'm teaching my son not to be a bully to other people. I'm teaching my son how to say I'm sorry. I'm teaching my son how to know that there is something called a no, you can't do it. No and no doesn't mean I hate you. No doesn't mean that I don't like you. No means at this time it is not proper for you or for me. The circumstance. I'm just raising my child like a model of all the children that I want to see. So I believe that he's going to transfer all that to his friends too. Because there's some things that I see, my, I, I know I've taught my son do at home a lot of times, like manners, when you're eating, you cover up your, your mouth, when you're coughing, and his friends do it too. He says, oh, the teacher's in school, and because I do it, my friends do it too. So I want to be, I, I, I try to mirror the tomorrow or the future that I want to see in the representation of how I raise my son. So, it's scary. It's really scary. I see how emotional you get when you're talking about your son, King Andre, right? Yes. I see that, I see that. But uh, enough of that, and we don't want to get you too emotional. Let's talk a bit about um, Ghana Beyond the Return. And I see that you have your, yeah. you know, uh, sash yes, and all of it. Are you coming back to enjoy the fun in December? Oh, yes, I am. I was actually, we actually, we're actually planning a trip um, to Europe for um, 11 days. And I was also telling him, I said, you know, we can actually do that trip here in Ghana. You know, we can actually do it. It's, it's a possibility that we can spend Christmas here in Ghana, you know. It's, it's, um, I love, I'm a very etty person. I love nature. So there's so much nature here. I know that there's so much. I've, I've been to like a lot of resorts here that are so gorgeous. So why not? Why not? My son has been to Ghana, but I mean, he was such a baby. You need to bring him back. Mm -hmm. Maybe in Christmas. Thanks, <laughs> Let's talk a bit about your favorites in Ghana. Do you have any favorite musicians in Ghana? Do you listen to any Ghanaian music? Uh, actually, um, I don't know a lot of them. I'm sorry. If, even back home, it's not something. Yes, yes, I am. Um, um, I'm not really an entertainment. I don't know why. I seriously don't know why entertainment. Really? No, because you can never catch the TV on in my house playing music or even movies. It's not even music. But um, 
I know a few of them. I know the R to be R to be boys. I know um, Sakode. Um, I don't know him personally, but I mean I know the name. Um, I know um, Hajia. Hajia, a yeah, very beautiful girl. Say uh, what? Shatawali. Stone Boy. Oh, right. You know a couple. Yes, yes. I mean, social media. Yeah. Not like, if you tell me to say the song, I might not, but I know them as my colleagues from other countries. Yeah, so yeah. Since you're not into entertainment, how do you unwind? How do you relax? Um, actually, my life is really very boring. People don't understand that. But. I guess I just let them have the idea of me they have in their head and that's just okay. It's, it's just boring around um, me, seriously. So when Tonto is tired, she sleeps? Oh yes. I'm a very homely person. I'm home, if I don't have anything to do outside, you can say. Actually, the reason why people celebrate me so much outside and the reason why is it looks as though I'm not on TV, but I'm like one of the most important, talked about, um, sold out um, celebrity, it's because I do not go out. So when I come out, it's fresh. So every time any anything you hear or see, it's only on, on social media. And that's what gives me the leverage to be. You know. Well, finally, before we go, where are you going to be so that people who love Tonto can, you know, come in? Well, tomorrow I'm still going to be here. I don't know where this address is, but I'm going to be here. And it's Susan Chanel Beauty Place, uh, where we'll be having the sales and um, different presents will be worn. Uh, there's so many gift freebies. I love food. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. So she'll be here, Susan Chanel. She'll yes. be here. We have a surprise for you. Yeah. I told you, we we don't do basic in Ghana. So. <laughs> for also welcoming us I mean into your space thank you and make sure you have fun because yeah. we have fun in Ghana I will most definitely see I'm going to go to water park I'm a child <laughs> <laughs> So that was King Tonto on GH1 TV. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned one or two things. That's the most important thing. And one thing I learned is she's actually teaching her child how to be kind. I always talk about this. It's important that we parents don't disappoint our children. Let's teach them how to be kind to one another. My name is Jackie. This has been GH1 TV live at Susan Chanel Beauty.